I challenge you to an at-home mobile photography battle. Do you accept? Ugh. Okay, so Canada is going back into a sort of lockdown-ish state um, with COVID. COVID goes up and down and that's how it's kind of been for the past seven months. So today I thought we would put the ultimate at home photography test to the test. Test to the test. iPhone home photography. I'm running a one plus two. It can shoot raw fully manual. So it will give me a slight advantage, but I would love you guys to try this at home phone photography. See what you can create and tag me at Dax Relay on all platforms with what you're able to do. But today we're going to be attempting to take some iPhone photos and I will be giving you guys my top tips for taking phone photos. So tip number one for you guys is always underexpose your photos. Looking at my phone right here, if I were to expose this for my room, it usually starts the photo a lot overexposed. So what you can do to underexpose your photos is just tap on the screen, an exposure compensation will come up, and then you're just gonna wanna drag down, gonna drop the photo, and as you can see, that's a lot better exposed now. And also, if you underexpose, you're gonna be keeping more detail in your shadows, which is super great. Also, if you're able to shoot in manual mode, this will help you out a bunch. Some phones, you just have to swipe up and then you can just go over to pro mode. And then from here, you have all the settings like shutter speed, uh, white balance to play with, ISO to play with. If your phone doesn't have this, it might be able to do it, but not through the phone photography camera. So let me show you how. Download Lightroom Mobile, which you can find on the App Store. And then once you open it, this is what it's gonna look like. You can sign up for free. And then through here, there's a camera button in the bottom right corner. When you click on that, you can choose Pro in the bottom here, and then you'll have access to all the same settings I just showed you. So again, white balance, ISO you can play with, and even exposure compensation, focus, uh, shutter speed, and you can also just reset it. I know some people who have phones that they don't actually have a Pro mode on the phone, but if they use Lightroom Mobile, they're able to get Pro mode. So using this tip, we're gonna take some photos in my room wearing the classic purge mask that I used last week for some photos. So let's set it up. So, so far not bad, um, but we do need prop to make these better and preferably a light source because we love playing with lights. So that's what we're looking for right now. Let's see what we can find. Okay guys, whew. Okay guys, that was uh, hot as fuck. It's really hot in my room, but also at the same time, like it's absolutely freezing outside. Let me show you. Honestly, not much we can do about it, but this leads into tip number two, which is about having a tripod and a stack of books. This bad boy right here, I'm gonna leave it in the link below, is a Joby tripod, one of the best tools that I have ever gotten for photography. This thing is lightweight, completely bendable legs. As you saw earlier, I was able to attach it to my bed, which is somewhere I could usually not put a tripod. It's great for wrapping around everything, and um, honestly, it's a godsend for this little photography challenge we have going on here. Okay, let's take some more photos. Okay, so as you guys saw earlier, I was using this fishing string to kind of add a cool little light effect to the camera by just covering the string in front of the lens. Now I wanna use this to make something float. Now the question is what item should I float? So this right here has been one of my favorite cameras. It's a GoPro Fusion. I've used it to shoot some stuff like this. Honestly, one of the most innovative cameras on the market. So we're gonna use this to float it. I'm gonna cut myself some fishing line. There's no place to really attach it. I'm just gonna screw it into the bottom of the GoPro Fusion. And then we're just gonna flip the photo in post to make it look like it's right side up. Don't fuck up this knot or else it'll fall and break my expensive camera. As for light source, we're going with this lamp. We're just gonna shoot it up, float the GoPro right over it. See what we can take. So honestly, 
that wasn't working, so we're gonna just switch it up real quick, see if we can do something different. Okay, I'm giving up on that, it doesn't look good. And, and that's something you do have to remember, that not everything will come out as planned, but might as well use this opportunity to show you guys my next trick, which is about using Lightroom Mobile to edit your photos. Lightroom Mobile, if your phone can shoot RAW, JPEG, whatever, you can always import your photos right after you've shot them into Lightroom Mobile. All you gotta do here is just click the little plus button, choose the day, which was today, and then let's do an example here. We're gonna use this photo. Photo is gonna pop up here. As you can see, it's pretty neutral, pretty bland. We have all the basic Lightroom features here, so you can just press light, add light, drop light, exposure, all that stuff. If we want here, we can crop this image like we were supposed to. We're gonna come over here to the crop button. We're just gonna bring it in to be just the mask. Once it's just the mask, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove that little line there. You're just gonna wanna come over here, choose the healing brush, and then from the healing brush, you can choose whichever one. You can change the size, the OPS. Yeah. Feathering. I'm just gonna remove feathering. You can scroll up and down, down for remove. And I'm just gonna make this circle smaller. And then I can slowly but gently cover that line up. Oh, and then now I'm just gonna fix the crop a tad. And then there you go. So pretty much from here, you can edit how you want, or you can just throw on a preset. I'm just gonna use one of my presets. 2016 pack should I go with. There you go, got one of my presets on there. Obviously it didn't come out how I would like it to perfectly, but that's pretty much how you use Lightroom Mobile, which is really good for when you're doing these types of little photo shoots or using your phone, because it's all done on the mobile. No need for external gear, anything, anything. $500, you can start taking photos. Let's take some more. Okay, so we grabbed this candle earlier. Um, I'm gonna finally use it. it smells pretty good, actually. Ooh. We're gonna use it, we're gonna do some reflection shots. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I almost dropped the camera. Oh, oh my God. Okay, well, we're in the hallway. I got a little lamp, a little red and blue action. Let's see what we can take. With these puzzles I've been spinning and this life that I've been living, I'm gonna go I'm on a mission. So simple photography tip, when you're getting light in the background and you don't want it, you're gonna wanna use something called a black, piece of black, I don't even know what it's called, but you're just gonna wanna block off that light so it doesn't actually go where you don't want it. Anything black will work to stop it. As you can see, I'm just using a simple book here. And now that background is completely done. My wrist while we done, the parties they done to fit. Girl finesse, can spot me a sucker. A lot of you really is holding the lick. All of my homies legit, really is sick. I probably throw my clip. So yeah, honestly, my room is a mess. There's like literally things everywhere. But that was my take at the challenge, the at-home photography challenge. You know, only took about an hour. And yeah, there was some that didn't go as well. I'm gonna just throw up all the photos right now. Comment below which one's your favorite. Hopefully this video was able to give you guys some tips for taking photos on your mobile phone, but I do have a complete mobile masterclass. If you wanna check that out, I'm gonna leave it right here in the tags or cards or whatever it's called. Honestly, super fun. I'd like to see your guys' attempts at these again. Tag me at Dexplay on any social platform and it'll be fine and I'll be able to check them out. Question of the day for you guys, which phone do you own? Which phone are you gonna be attempting th with this with? Again, like I said at the start, I was using a OnePlus 2. So that's pretty much the video. If you guys liked it, give it a like um, if you guys enjoy my content. I got new videos coming out every single Monday. But yeah, without further ado, creators, keep creating, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. The next to kill it, show them the king how they living. Pictures so good, but not looking for business. They were stepping in from the back door. If they see you in the pen and then they pop jokes. That fear to the blows, boy, James Burke. Side so stepping on the shades, see the footwork. I'm trying to be about this business. But still, they want me in the kitchen. With the bacon, so the whipping. Without a loan, so offensive. Cause my guy, he gave his body just to pull me out the tree.